Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply. Um, I got an email from Warren who bought a Little Ripper not too long ago and he just kind of, I guess, had some questions on how small or how short he can do with the Little Ripper. Now, if you're looking at it, like a lot of guys think that all oh, these claws are a little, about 12 inches apart, so probably as small as I can do is maybe 10 inches or so. That's not actually the case. Um, if you look at these claws, um, each one of the claws is holding from at least four different points. So you can actually safely, on short pieces, hold with just a single claw. And I'll show you how you do that, it's really simple. Basically the exact same thing you're gonna do. Now the one thing you wanna make sure of is that you have this piece on both bottom claws and on both top claws. Um, so that's kind of important. So find a spot where that'll work. So right about there. We'll bring that out a little bit. Lock that up. And you're going to want to get her nice and snug. So we got that in place now. So we can go ahead and cut. So I'll take a couple little slices off here for you. Now, the other thing that you could do, if it wasn't a log, say it was a board, sometimes with a short board like this, it's a little bit easier actually to set it in between the claws. Now, that powder coating there is quite slippery. So the first thing that I wanna do, if I am doing that, I'm gonna get some sandpaper and it'll kinda of act as grip tape and put it right between the claws here. So some adhesive back paper. So I'll show you what I'll do here. Just quickly clean this off and that will stick right down to my powder coating here. Now the really cool thing about this, this is especially important if you're doing a burl or something similar to that. If you look at these claws, they don't have to stay straight. They have a full 45 degree 45 degrees of movement back and forth. So you can actually put both these claws right towards the center here and hold something round if you want it. Or a board like this, put it on there like so. That'll give it a lot of grippiness. I'm not sure if that's a word, but okay. And we'll just tighten it up here. So again, we are good to make a cut. Now this piece of hickory is pretty soft on top. I don't have it in the straightest. Let me straighten it out just a little bit here. And yeah, we're good to go. We'll make a couple cuts here. And so there you go. Um, so as far as the limit, it really doesn't matter too much um, as long as it's at least as wide as these two claws on the bottom here. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, if anyone else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockingsupply.com or just comment on the video. And if you guys want to see future videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much.